Today I will, I will call out, and I'm one of his biggest fans, but today I'm going to be a critic of him, is Richarlison. Today was just not his day, generally. Like, every time the ball would come to him, it feels like you just know what's going to happen. When, when has it been his day? When yeah, he's terrible. Can I he's just, just, can I disagree with him? On the wing. Since he's stuck, we've stuck him on the wing, he's been very good. Since we've stuck no. him on the wing. Yeah, no. Except, um, except for today, he's been very good since we've stuck him on the wing. No, no, no. That's a factual statement. That is a factual statement. It's not. It's it's not. not. No. I will say he might disagree with that. He might disagree with that. He might disagree with that. He might disagree United, where he carried us through that game, like there is, there's been games where he's come up and he's he's played well. Today was just not one of those days. And Brennan Johnson today, when we brought him off the bench, was incredible. But something that I want to point out today is this just shows you how big of an impact Destiny Doji has on this team. Like whenever the ball would go down that left side, you could you see, you could tell there's missing something, right? Destiny Doji is just such a good player. But I'm sure you'll be back against Chelsea. It was just fatigue. But no, like this start. He, t- he, t- he took a knock against Fulham. That's why he didn't play yeah. today. So it wasn't a knock. It wasn't question, a knock. Question, Dan, I, 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 Dan, I don't want to move on too far from what you've said. You mentioned Richarlison um, not being too good. Do you think somebody else should be given an opportunity in the first team over Richarlison? And if so, who? Uh, Brennan Johnson. Brennan, awesome. Brennan Johnson today, we bring him off the bench and he was incredible. He was actually like, like them, them balls. He got the the assist, I want to say, for the second goal. Yeah, he did. And he almost yeah. got another assist. And, the, like, there was another one that just passed right by Son. Uh, I, I, th- I think it was offsides anyways. But he, he, the runs he was making, I, from day one, wanted uh, Brennan Johnson. Not because I'm he, such an expert in Brennan Johnson, but because Andrew Postacoglu wanted Brennan Johnson. He didn't get an assist. What, Evan? He didn't get an assist. He, he, did, get an he assist. did. He He got it for the Son goal. He got it no, he didn't. Goal. No, yes, according did. to this, it was Brennan Johnson and James Madison. According to this, players get an assist. Well, I'm just going by the stats that have been listed, and it says the assists were Brennan Johnson and James Madison. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He got an assist. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Richarlison got the assist. No, no, no. I think Brennan, Brennan Johnson. Johnson. Brennan oh, Johnson. sorry, darling. Yeah, no, I was, I was talking <laughs> about Brennan Johnson. He, he, the, he just he was running from behind the balls he was playing. It was really, really good for him, and I'm excited to see what he can do this season. But I, I will say, January, we definitely have to go out and sign a left winger. Somebody that I, I, I really want Tottenham. It's unrealistic, but I really want Tottenham to get uh, Cavalskilia from Napoli. But it's very oh, unrealistic. Oh, you ain't getting him. Mm. <laughs> but Napoli have yeah. two this season, so it's, 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 there's a chance. So oh, is, is, is Richarlison one of those positions, guys, that, that, that needs to be looked at sooner rather than later? I've been saying this since the start of the uh, season, no, Terry. Richarlison, if, if we have any ambitions of winning a Premier League at all, you sell him in January. No, come on. I don't, I, I've seen I don't, absolutely I don't enough agree. of this bloke. No, He's man, no. awful. I don't, I don't think you need to Come sell on, him. No, 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 no. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Because, hang on, hang on. No. You need to, the reason why you have to sell him because right now you can still get a value for him. I'm done at this football club where what we do is is we keep players because we have some sort of sentimental attachment to a player. No, 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 no. Get rid when you've got the chance. You can send him to Saudi Arabia. Brazil's number nine. There you go. Forty million quid boots. Go and sign as number nine. Like oh. Santiago Jimenez, who's playing out of the skin at finals, that can come into this team and we can start getting players. When Richarlison plays at this football club, it's like we're playing with 10 men and we're carrying someone on our backs all the time. I've been, I've been it, saying it, that all you, season. You can't, you, can't keep, yeah, no. you can't keep players in the team. And one thing you can criticise the manager on, he still picks this guy. He, does, he still I picks him. He doesn't do anything. He I hasn't disagree. done anything all season. I get you. Ellie, Ellie you say you disagree with regards to selling him. What are you saying? I disagree, right? You're not watching the same player. He did three brilliant balls this evening, right? And he got uh, busted his gut to get from the back back post to head it, and we muffed it, right? So he did do good things, and he tracked back, he pressed. He, there's a lot of things that Richarlison does that he doesn't get credit for. He gets judged on hard work. Today. I expect every player to work hard. I've got my notepad on Richardson because I know he's going to get stick. There was a lot of things that he... There was, there was a lot of things that you're missing that I see. I think, yeah, Maybe but I was watching, watching, watching them as well. Closely, mate. El- Ellie, a lot of things I think is a stretch. I don't think it, that you can say a lot of things. Yes, in, in certain really, in really certain periods. Yeah, but that's what I mean. In certain periods... When he's playing, he get he makes one or two couple of passes. Yes, he works hard, he runs around, but that doesn't, you know, that's just one or two things here and there. Whereas obviously to to really maintain this start and to really push on, 
you need the play you need every single player firing on all fronts i mean i i'm i've even been critical of kulusevski kulusevski he's he also works really hard he also does a lot of good runs he does a lot of good one one two passing and stuff like that but to me, Kulusevski is nowhere near where he was when he first came to the club, that first I half agree. a season that he had, because he was banging him in. He was, even though I know we keep saying, well, he's clearly left-footed, so why why is he being played on the right and he's always having to, you know, turn and, you yeah. know, use his left foot? But when he first came into the club, that first half a season, he was banging goals. He, he wasn't only just setting goals up. He was banging him himself. And then, obviously, last, last season's, you know, catastrophe under Conte I don't know what they did to him but that you know he's not you know he's not banging those goals in and he's not you know doing those fantastic crosses that he used to do he yes he's doing a lot of nice he ones ones he got but I, I really do feel that you know there's still another one or two gears that players like Kulusevski players like um even Son, I mean, yes, Son has been much better this season compared to last season. Um, but you know, even I feel Son has got a couple of gears that he can move move up from. But the one player that is always consistently every game uh, that really frustrates me is Richarlison. Yes, in some games he's done well. I know in a couple of the games he's got an assist. Um, he's got, you know, I I will be so happy if he was just consistently getting better and better. And yes, there are some points, but I still feel I agree with. I'm sorry, I I missed the name of the gent with the glasses. I do agree with him right now. I do uh, feel at least at least for like sixty percent of the game or fifty percent of the game, ninety minutes, um, we're playing like as if we're playing with ten men. It's, it's, it can be really but, passive sometimes. There's, some, and, there's a certain know, agenda in this fan base. Really? There's a certain agenda in this fan base to just target Richard. Agenda. Oh, give it's over, please. Sorry, mate. Just because he was can I, it doesn't mean we brought him in to be our starting striker. We brought in Richarlison. This is factual. We brought in Richarlison to be a backup to Harry Kane. What he is, yeah. is oh, but, perfect for that. But he, what I want but he Richarlison doesn't do anything to me, lad. He's, Wait, hang on, hang on. Wait. A backup striker. No, let, so finish, let him finish, players. please. There's so many worse players. There's so many things that need to be addressed more than selling Richarlison. The fact that you want to sell Richarlison is just frustration. The fact that we have to pay 60 million for him. And that's just out of his control. That's poor for us as a football club. But that's not his fault. He's good enough to be a backup striker and a backup winger. Backup. That's hang on, hang, hang, hang on. Question. So, hang on. The question on that. So, you say about selling him is frustration. No, I want the best for his football club. So, for me, keeping a hold of a player that scores what, three goals, four goals since he's been at this football club, for me, isn't good enough. Like, we're, we're shoehorning a player for the sake of somebody's feelings. I'm not... Listen, it's I'm not with... one of the... No, but it is, though, because it's... it's Oh, keep him. What does Richardson offer us? Very, very little. Yeah. He was right one of the now, worst players on the offers right a now. Have you not seen no, him no. when crosses come in? He's I had our best oh, friend. Oh, I'll watch him... The, the one, the one, the one word that I hear a lot of him really, it really triggers me because I hear he works hard. He's a professional football player. I expect every football player to work hard. They don't work hard. You live and play, huh? You can say that, but there's no player in this team that runs as much as him to get the ball. Maybe Son. Yeah, I see yeah. Son do that. I Madison. see Doji do that. I see Poro yeah. do that. I see yeah. Basuma do that. I see Saar do that. Papasar, Papasar was brilliant. Papasar, I see enough players. You gave the ball away quite a few times, Papasar. Yes, I, I thought Saul was, but I didn't think Saul was great today. I agree. I wanna, guys, I just want to jump in here. Uh, Kate, what, what's your thought on this in terms of keep? Like some people saying Richarlison's been really good and should stay. Others want to sell him instantly. Like, what, what's your take on this, Kate? First of all. Um, if you bring in someone to back up Harry Kane, how anyone can say he's perfect for that when he can't score? His most prolific season at Everton was 13 goals. He is a diabolical football player. Absolutely atrocious. I have no clue how he's made a career out of it. He plays fantastic for Brazil, no denying it, but he's not a Premier League player. He would not walk in. If you looked at Harry Kane and you looked at the table and you'd say walk into any team. Richarlison would not get into any top 10 team. I don't even know if he'd get into the top 20 team. I don't know if he'd walk in any team. He is terrible. His touch is just awful. Against Fulham, I'll give him his credit, the first 45 minutes, he won the ball back and he fought his backside off to win the ball back. But I would sell him in a heartbeat. 
absolute heartbeat. We yeah. need so much better. A player like Richarlison will never, ever get you over the line, ever. Do you he know can, what he scores with his head. He can't score with his feet. Yeah, and his best game for us was. Do you remember when he was he, when he was a sub and he came on for the last ten minutes and then yeah. he scored one and he yeah. set up a goal. I think yeah, right now exactly. that's how we need to use him. Because that's exactly. what I'm Listen. saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't want him to be our side striker or winger. Bring him off the bench. He's perfect for that. And he literally. But you said that. he's our backup to Harry Kane. No, I said we no, Daniel, him. Let me ask you, Daniel. Let me ask you a question, no, Daniel. I get your Daniel. That, Daniel, that, 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 one I get your point that you want him to be a backup, but. If you sold him in January and bought a backup that works as hard but scores and creates more, isn't that better for Tottenham? Mm. Can well, I get a name? Johnson, we? Um, what do you mean? Can you get a name? Like, I would I love. Can, I could name you several, son. Go on, then. Loads. You've got the lad at Stuttgart scoring goals. You've got Santiago Jimenez who's banging in goals at Feyenoord. That's two. I mean, there's. What, what, are we? Are we? Where have all of a sudden there's no goals? Goal 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 how about? How about? How about? You Don't go all in. 60 million, Ivan Tony. Yeah. Tony. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly, exactly my point. That's right exactly now, what we need. And remember, though, remember, as fans, sometimes you want to play a gone. We're not scouts. We don't have the access. You know, we may not. All, I mean, I'm not even involved in this. I'm just playing the the, the the mediator here. They may not have an idea of exactly who they want to come in. But the question I've got for you, if you could find a more prolific replacement for Richarlison in January, would you sell him and buy somebody else? I would buy the replacement, but the truth is Richarlison right now is our number one striker. So if we were going to buy someone to replace him, we would have to buy two strikers because he's our top, like the one that we have on top. What I'm saying is... He's not. Son is your number one striker right now. Son is our number one striker. We have to go sign another winger then. It's, It's one or the other. No, 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 no. no. You're buying you 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 a striker who's playing on the wing. Oh, when he comes back. I think, I think he's 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 so you're going to tell me Richarlison is not good enough, but Manuel Solomon is. Is that what you're telling me? He's better than Richarlison. He is. This is Man Man Solomon. Solomon. I think he's better than Richarlison. Daniel, let me ask you a question, bro. Daniel, let me ask you a question. What has Richarlison done in a Tottenham shirt that makes you believe that he's good enough to start your club? He's, he's scored. He's had many good performances. Last season, he wasn't. He wasn't played in the position that he would like to be played as. This season, he has, and I've criticized him when it was time to criticize him. But he's also had great performances. I remember when we were against Marseille in the Champions League, and he absolutely carried us. We played horrendous. Two balls come in. He headers them both, and everybody's on their knees. Oh, Richarlison, Richarlison, and now, mm-hmm. now. He's had a few bad games, and now everybody's on him. Like uh, my, 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 question, my question would be, my, my my point would be this: I understand where you're coming from, but what I would say this is, is to you, young Daniel. Son has scored so many goals for you this year. Those goals to, are, are, are a big reason why you're top of the league by five points. Yeah. But Charleston has been playing in his main position as the number nine. You're not top of the league, and you're yeah. definitely not clear by five points. And yeah. that's for me. I understand you want it to work. Yeah. But I actually, I, I agree with what Perchie said. I look at Richarlison and I see a player, he's, he's like an almost man. It's, it's almost working. But he's right. If you keep, I'll keep him another year and then another year. Suddenly he's worth almost nothing. His value's dropped and it's hard. You, and you know what your owners are like. I would, if I was Posta Coglu, look at cashing in on him sooner rather than later. Because he just, the, the running and the tracking back and everything else, that's great. That should be a prerequisite. This man costs yeah. sixty million pounds. He's meant to be scoring and creating, and, and he's he's really not very good. He, he just he really isn't. And that's, I'm not even trying to dig him out. And I look at your team and I think about how well you're doing and what you need to do to improve. And it's and and he's a player that you need to improve on. So that's he might stay on the bench. You may not sell him, but he needs to be replaced. And maybe you replace him and sell him in the I summer. But I he ain't he ain't he's never going to be good enough for you. Eighteen I months know. in. He's too, again, he's not an 18, 19 year old. How old are you? What, 26? 26? It must be late mid, he's mid 20. 20. He's 22 at 6, 27. I think, I think the yeah, question yeah, is, is I agree that we should replace him. I, I agree. I agree. And, but this, but you say not replacing, there's so many strikers out there in the world. Yeah. I think we, I think we, we, we get to this thing, but because we've signed badly before, we have to keep hold of him. But Charleston has been awful. You sit there and say about good performance. I could probably count to two good games I've seen him in a Spurs shirt. And that's good. You say excellent. I can't. He hasn't been excellent once. I think he's, he had a good game against um, when he came off the bench this season against Sheffield yeah. United. I went, do you know what? Gave him his due credit where the credit's due. I thought he came on and he changed the game and won it. 
Uh, I think the Marseille one's a good shout. But again, I expect a player like Richarlison to be scoring in a game like that in the Champions League. Should be scoring goals there. Like, But this is the theory, right? I think I think what Perry was making a good point of. When this, this player is still marketable to sell, as I said, are you Saudi? My 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 theory is Saudi Arabia is always there. They want to get someone to market. You can market Brazil's number nine. If an offer came in of thirty million quid right now, you bite your hand off it. Let him go. Spend money better. I look. You could go and look anywhere. Go and look at Celtic. Kyogo up top. What a player. You have him in over. I I don't get it. Where we want Spurs to do. We want Spurs. We. I hear all the you time. Want a title challenge. Really bothers me. If, if you want a title yeah. challenge, you if you want a title just, challenge, just, just do like, take the it, words out of my mouth. Come we Christmas, people, mm, come come January sorry. transfer window. If Tottenham are still top, right? Yeah. We do, we do, we mm. we completely blow everybody's uh, predictions out of the water, and just by some miracle, we keep winning and winning and winning. Come yeah. January, Tottenham are still top. Maybe three points yeah. clear, yeah. two points clear, five points clear. Everyone's talking about how Arsenal is going to go for Ivan Tony. How uh, maybe another couple of the other big teams are going to go for Ivan Tony. Why can't Spurs go for Ivan Tony? Because you put Ivan Tony in that team, <laughs> you have got all, all of a sudden you your chances of pushing on and winning and making a title challenge this season all, right. all of a sudden go up by. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. One, get this straight. One, sec, one second. One second. Let me just get my point out there. <laughs> what, what point is is one minute I hear from Spurs fans, we're in a title race. We're going to win the league. And then the next minute is oh we can't get rid of Richarlison because we can't get any better. Sorry, I what? Don't you don't win the league with Richarlison in your team. You don't he's, win the league with him in your team. Get I can't hear huh? any Spurs fans saying we can't. No, but get we're better. saying about keeping him. What if we get so we could go and find someone in January? People going, oh, I can't sell him. Yeah, why? I agree. What? I agree with you. For for reason. Reason. I don't think we should. Because he's not quite I, good I, enough. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything he for us. You're bringing up. You're bringing up you, I, I said that if we're going to replace uh, so, uh, Richarlison, what I want him to be, a backup striker. If you're saying we replace him, we already got Son there. Now you're saying to go sign Ivan Tony. Do you think we're going to sign Ivan Tony to just... Oh, I, never said, I never said Tony. We're just, a, we're just putting names out there. Listen, I don't I'm have the like, scouting powers that Tottenham do, but it's just... There's got to be players out there. The way we, we we're talking about Richardson, like there's no one else we can sign. No, I think we, you know, there's I, loads I, of I, players. It's, 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 guys, we'll come back to the come back to. I want to go to some super chats.